people check it out this is joint compound do you know what joint compound is do you know what it means it means that i'm gonna do the joints the mudding and the taping on this drywall that's how much i hate drywall i'm not gonna stop today till this drywall is done so sick of drywall so now i've got to clean up oh man look at this mess around here all this stuff, sawdust, insulation, cellulose, nails, sheetrock. Oh, oh man, it's way more echoey in here now. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Clean up time. Let's get to it. How to sheetrock. Let me know if you find that video. This is definitely not going to be this one. So I'm using Durarock, which is a joint compound that you have to mix yourself. And I think it's safe to say that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, so here's the stuff. The directions say to mix it until it's smooth, and then let it sit for a minute, and then add water until it's the right consistency. Well. I think I have too much water in here. Um, because it's just a little too soupy. I guarantee you, I'm going to take this bag and add a little powder, and then it's going to be too much powder, not enough water. I'm such an optimist, huh? So I'll try to mix this in. Clearly, mixing with a six inch paddle and a two inch trough is not the best idea. Uh, so, I would suggest walking downstairs and getting the 4-inch spatula or whatever it's called. Trowel? No, that's not a trowel. Putty knife. Oh, that's what it is. Anyway, it's way too difficult to mix it in this little thing, so I'm going to try and put it on here. I don't know how you're supposed to do all this stuff with only two hands. See if I can get it on there before it runs down the bottom. What an embarrassing video, huh? This guy has no idea what he's doing. And he's showing the world. Unbelievable. Okay. On well, there's I can tell that's smooth. So I'm going to run and wash that thing. You guys can sit here and watch the stuff run down to the floor and see if I get back before it runs all the way down. Didn't even move. All that running for nothing. All right. So that's going to sit there for another 30 seconds. And looks like five minutes. Wow. So it's probably ready to use. So I'm going to start taping. I haven't taped in I don't know how many years. Doesn't look like that tape worked very well. I'm going to undo that. Looks like it's a little too wet. So I hadn't taped in a while. And uh, I wasn't very good even when I did. So here goes nothing. Okay, so I got that one taped and that one taped. Then I have to mix more stuff. 
It's kind of irritating to have to stop and mix more stuff each time instead of just digging out of a bucket. But what it does allow me to do is by the time I finish these joints, I'll be ready to sand these and put another coat on instead of waiting a full day, which definitely sucks. Um, I, I don't know what I think about how it's coming out so far. I don't think I do think about how it's coming up so far. I'm just doing it. Ah, so glad I get to hide under the guise that this is a garage. It's so nice. Otherwise, I'd have to, you know, make it look nice and there'd be quality involved. And ah, what a pain that is, huh? So anyway, I'm waiting for that stuff to set up. Um, mix another batch. I mixed it kind of a small batch, which is a bummer. I'm probably only going to be able to do that one joint. And have to mix some more. Anyway. So, yeah. Onward and upward. My time lapse ran out of battery, too, so you're not going to get to see how cool this all whole process is. I suppose I could run a time lapse of this camera. Hmm. Let me just put some caustic material in my eye. Uh, on Al.